All right, guys, let's talk about I, okay? I, <clears throat> I is the imaginary uh, number, and it equals the square root of negative 1, okay? So there is there is no way to take a square root of a negative number, so we can um, factor that out and call it I, and then we can work with it mathematically. Now, um, the cool thing is, and specifically well, what I want to show you on this slide, is that I squared equals negative one, okay? Anytime you square a radical, right? So the square root of negative one would be a radical. Anytime you square a radical, uh, the radical goes away. The square root sign will disappear, right? Because um, the square and the square root are inverse um, operations, inverse functions of each other. And we learned that they undo each other. We learned that when we were talking about um, inverse functions back in unit uh, three, right? Unit three. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Let, so basically I squared, let's go um, up here with this. Okay. So we'll just kind of create this in a little box over here. Uh, I squared is the same as I times I, right? That's what it means to square any numbers to multiply it by itself. Okay. So that would also equal the square root of negative one times the square root of negative one and so again <clears throat> if you square a square root you're just uh, putting that number back together right so if i took the square root of negative one which i can't do i know but let's just pretend we could and the square root of negative one and then i have squared them and then it just goes back to negative one so this is going to equal negative one okay um, let's see, let's look at it with a different example. Let's look at it with like uh, three, right? So if I was gonna take the square root of three squared, that would equal three, right? In the square root of any number squared is gonna be itself, right? Well, what is this? What is three squared, right? Um, three squared is nine. Okay, three times three is nine, right? And what is the square root of nine? Three, right? And you can try that with any number you want and you will see it's going to always end up being the number that was being squared to start with. All right, so um, for the purposes of this worksheet that we're doing today on Pear Deck, you're going to have a lot of, uh, anytime you multiply two complex numbers, you're going to end up with an I squared um, as one of your four um, products of that uh, multiplication, right? And that one is going to turn into um, whatever the coefficients were on that term that have been multiplied together and then times a negative one. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit more in depth. Okay. And, that, and then later uh, lesson, we'll learn also what I cubed is and what I to the fourth power is. All right. And then it makes a nice pattern because after that, it just starts repeating on a loop. But we'll get to that in a couple of days. Okay. All right.